Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your brush's texture in Abyss Paint. Now with this you think that you'd need to change to a different brush to have another texture, but no, you can actually manually change them. And because of this there's a way to make loads of custom brushes, so I'm going to be showing you that today. Of course right here you'd think that you just get the texture that your brush comes with, and while you do get that you can change them in a manual way to basically have tons and tons and tons of different options. So let's go with the felt tip pen soft, it's a pretty basic brush, it's not a premium one or anything. When you click on a brush you will notice that this menu comes up here where there's a bunch of thickness of start and such options. And while you can change those, that is not what we're going to be looking at today, we're going to be going across these different options, fade, shape, jitter, and we're going to be staying on type specifically. So here you can see a section called texture and there's a bit that says texture pattern and then off. So this just means that it stays on the default texture. However, if you up the opacity and the lower limit to have the texture that you're going to choose, then you can absolutely change the texture that it has. Just click on the box here and you will see that there's so, so, so many different textures. There's even pixel art options for the brushes. There's just a whole bunch, which I think is really awesome because honestly having different textures can be really fun. And I struggle with texturing some things with some of the pre-made brushes, so this will be really useful for me. We're just going to have a look at carpet just to test it out. So we've clicked on carpet here. We're going to put the opacity up pretty high so we know that we can for sure see the texture. And you can have a little look at the rest of these settings if you want to. The angle will just change it, scale will make it bigger or smaller, you know. So we'll just put these up a little bit as well. And let's change our color a little bit so it's more visible. You will see right here that it does absolutely change. With this one the texture changes on the end because of the way we've done the settings. If you put the opacity up to full, you will see that the texture is a lot more obvious right here. When you just press a singular time, the texture is super duper obvious. Now this is really really nice, I quite like this texture honestly. Now let's go back into here and change it. Let's say we wanted to try canvas. Then you'll see it's a totally different texture again. With every single one that you choose, it's going to look a little bit different, and I really, really like that. Every texture is separate, and they will even look different on different brushes. So let's just say we wanted to use a airbrush instead. And we have the opacity and lower limit, and we just changed this to fabric. Then you will see that even here it's totally changed with the airbrush now, it's just basically an automatic texturing thing. You could put this on a wall that you're drawing and it would look awesomely textured. I really honestly love the airbrush texture specifically because of how realistic it looks. Then of course you can change to look at the other textures in there as well, which have some really really nice options. Basically you can use whatever brush you want with this and most of them will work with textures with the exception of like probably some pixels or some sputtering brushes. But overall it's really funky. So yes, overall I just say have a look and see what brushes and what textures you like together. There's a bunch of options and filters which I think makes for a lot of really good opportunities. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did maybe consider supporting. Bye!